Hey guys. Trigger warning. This video violates all forms of safe spaces. Left this, run immediately. So the Young Turks in their effort to expose this racist country America is, have found a new target. You're not gonna believe this. It's Uber and Lyft drivers. New research. Research? Kinda sounds like propaganda, but go on. Indicates that Uber and Lyft drivers may exhibit some racial bias when picking up passengers. Four black and four white research assistants hailed, Bloomberg reported, and each of them indicate, included a photo of themselves in the app. The second study was conducted in Boston by individuals whose appearance allowed them to plausibly travel as a passenger of either race, but using African American sounding or white sounding names. The total rides hailed in the study were almost 15. Hundred. Okay, so what I'm getting at is they had a couple of people ride Uber cabs. In what way would that indicate racial bias? You have to specify that first. Uber drivers in Boston canceled rides for black men with black sounding names twice as often compared to other men. In Seattle, black people waited noticeably longer for Uber and Lyft rides than white people, up to 35% longer, according to the press release that accompanied this study. Wait, no, 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 no. You still haven't proved how the longer wait times and the more frequent rejections account to racism. There's a the whole process into building an argument. You have the thesis, the premise, and the argument. You just went to the thesis that Uber drivers are racist to the conclusion. That's bullshit. Uh, so the study also found that women experience significantly longer travel times than men. Typical Young Turks, let's just add in the element of sexism as well, when it does not belong there with racism. It suggests a couple things that we might be able to implement that might help uh, limit racial bias in the future. They oh great, solutions to problems that have not been verifiably proven. Typical progressive logic. The researchers suggest that the app provide less information about riders to drivers, eliminating a passenger's name and photo to prevent drivers from discriminating against them implicitly or not before they accept or deny the ride. Now, now we know this is coming from people who know nothing about Uber. You do know you could put in a fake name such as Jack Kemp. The only thing that has to be correct is your credit card information. You don't even have to put in a picture. So in order to avoid the non-existent problem, or at least a problem that hasn't been proven yet, people already have steps to bypass that. I mean, the Young Turks, they keep getting dumber and dumber every video they make. It's, it's typical progressivism, SJWs, every, the whole of the left works like this. You think they can get dumber, they keep getting dumber. Patterns of discrimination were quite clear and consistent in both cities, and one can only assume it's happening all across the country in other markets. So my question for you, Hassan, is do you think that it is actually reasonable to assume that this sort of discrimination is happening all across the country? Just one issue with that line of reasoning. You still haven't proven how there's discrimination in those three cities. How can you from then on state that it happens in other cities as well? And I have plenty of anecdotal evidence and I actually wanted to talk about this anecdotal, anecdotal, anecdotal. That explains itself. It's anecdotal and it doesn't count in terms of research. Uh, Anna and I were waiting outside to go to this awesome um, soul food restaurant and I called the Uber. The person, uh, uh, knowing that my name was Hassan, called me back and was like, oh, where are you going, whatever. And then I explained it to him because apparently Uber doesn't let you t uh, tell the driver until you get in the ride where you're going and he hung up on me and he canceled the ride. How do you know he did it because your name was Hassan? It could have been for other reasons. Just because someone canceled a ride because your name was Hassan doesn't mean that he did it because he had some anti-Muslim prejudice. And besides, as you said, it was anecdotal. And then Anna called, same guy, same guy accepted and was like, hey baby, where are you going? Wait, wait, so you mean to tell me that he, as a male, he canceled your ride? but he didn't cancel the right of Anna, who's a female. You know what that is? Sexism against males. You, guys, Uber, ha Uber drivers have a sexist issue, and we must solve it by eliminating the matriarchy that, that is systemic throughout our society. We have to do something. Hashtag male lives matter because of this clear sign of sexism against males. About how women experience longer rides, because I have talked to a lot of Uber drivers. Again, anecdotal evidence, anecdotal evidence, anecdotal evidence, anecdotal evidence, anecdotal evidence. You're just, you're just proving the damn point. This, all the shit is anecdotal. It is not conclusive enough to guarantee 
a final conclusion stating that Uber drivers have a systemic racial or sexist bias. The study talks about how some women would be going through the same intersection multiple times yeah. with their driver just to continue the conversation. I wanted to get your take, take, Jenk, on do you think that what they are saying about eliminating names, photos, all that stuff will help people be less discriminatory, even implicitly when they pick up people or passengers? Wait, what? You just claimed that there was a sexism issue with Uber drivers and then you gave no conclusive stats as to why that is. Is that the new progressive line of reasoning? We say there's sexism, there's some anecdotal evidence, so Uber drivers have a sexist bias? Fuck me, man, this is some dogma that I'm looking at. Now we have the MIT research, etc., to, to, to back that up. It hasn't backed up jack shit. You still haven't told us how this amounts to racism, on how the correlation Relates to causation. All the other studies about how African American names or even hands on eBay lead to lower price for the product. Correlation does not lead to causation. The African American sounding names on resumes get called back 50% of the time less. Correlation does not lead to causation. No, like taxi cab drivers are racist as well. Uh oh, retard alert! Way to go on falsely accusing someone of being racist. What if the taxi drivers are not white? What if they're black themselves? Are they racist as well? What a stupid statement by a stupid organization. Movies is like a popular culture reference that black men or black women can't get hail cabs as easily in New York, uh, yeah. of a very progressive, uh, very diverse city as a white man or a white woman. Okay, now they're referring to an actual point. This is a case made about 10 years ago that black young black kids had difficult times getting cabs and actually the majority of the time, it was some non-white person, like an Indian person or, or a Lebanese person, or even another black taxi driver, who were aware that young black men had incredibly high crime rates, and they're trying to find a way to go home and not offer the taxi drive. Now that is the case of where the astonishingly high black on black crime, especially among young black males, hurts innocent black males. The issue is not that the taxi cab drivers are racist, the issue is that there's a high crime problem that needs to be solved. And, and so that's also been borne out in studies. Correlation does not lead to causation. It's not an Uber or Lyft issue, it's, a, it's all of us that have the issue. We have the racial bias uh, embedded in our heads. Again, you're accusing all of us of having a racial bias. You have no evidence to prove how that's true, and you're making a claim without any damn evidence. Uh, other studies have shown that African Americans also discriminate against other African Americans. Oh, well done, Cenk. Finally, in this stupid discussion, you're bringing some form of reasoning. Nope. Because the racial bias is implanted, unfortunately, uh, through propaganda, etc., in all of our heads. Nope. You're just a fucking dumb idiot like the rest of them. Wait, what? African Americans are racist against themselves? How did that come into being? Are you seriously going to accuse black cab drivers of being racist against themselves without any evidence? Just like that. So now, some will, of course, want us to not talk about it. Like, like as if we created the problem by reporting on the study. Absolutely, you create a problem that doesn't exist and that you haven't proven to be true. Unless the burden of proof lies on you to prove how Uber drivers have a racial bias, which you have not done at all during the whole six minutes of the video. They must no, all be libtards and social justice warriors there. Yeah, you guys definitely are libtards and social justice warriors. But what we're trying to do is highlight it here so that people can go, oh, okay, we didn't know that was happening. Well then if we realize that this is clearly an issue as the numbers indicate, both for minorities and for women. Correlation does not lead to causation. As you've seen from the video, their whole premise was that correlation leads to causation, which is just not true and never has been. They still haven't proven if the cab drivers were specifically discriminating against people because of their race, and they're never going to do that, because it's a non-existent problem to begin with. As I said previously, you can use a fake name and not have a picture. You just need your credit card information. So to any minority who might be buying into this narrative, I'm sorry, it's not true. There is no racist patriarchal system coming to get you. It's manufactured propaganda from the progressive left and the social justice warriors. As for the Young Turks, they are not a news organization. They are the Pravda of today who manufacture propaganda over and over again to suit their narrative. I still have no clue how they have 3 million minions watching their dumb videos. Unless they're there to specifically dislike their videos, which I do. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video on why the Young Turks are so dumb and actually trying to figure out how racist 
Ubu and Lyft drivers are. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you want similar content. I'll catch you very soon on the next video.